So our center started his operational studies in April 2010. The first patient we treated at La Sapienza was done on um, May 12th, right? Uh, it was about one month later we, we were ready. So we had a period of one month uh, delay just to learn how to do things. And that was a case of bone metastasis, a patient with, uh, suffering with melanoma. And that was very, very interesting case because we realized the huge potential of this methodology. And we, since the very beginning, we obtained an excellent result in a very sick patient. And despite the fact that we already knew that we could palliate the pain for this patient, we also realized since the beginning that we had the potential to achieve tumor control in those particular patients. And that was the most impressive results that we achieved right at the moment. Essentially, based on our very first experience with this patient, we enroll different patients according to different protocols. So far, we, we treated 20 patients with bone metastasis, and most of them were uh, for pain palliation. But what we try to do is to treat this patient without any other um, treatment over the target lesion that we will treat eventually. So those kind of lesions were free from radiation and our treatment was a kind of first-line modality for pain palliation. And we observed um, an incredible results. All our patients had pain score of zero within a few days and that was stable along the follow-up period that right now for some patients is 8 to 10 months. Some of these patients had incredible results also because we attempt to achieve tumor control and that was possible thanks to the modulation of the energy we delivered to these particular patients. And we, we were very happy and with us, we're very happy also our oncologists. So at the moment, oncolog our oncologists, they love this technology and they want to propose uh, this methodology also for patients that are not suffering. Essentially, we at La Sapienza, we are a group of uh, an oncology-driven um, radiology department. And we were very enthusiastic with um, the results of the bone metastasis treatment and we realized the huge potential of this technology also in treating patients that are not in the stage of having symptoms uh, uh, related to bone metastasis. And this was actually a request of our medical oncologists. They want to send our patients directly to the MR guided focus ultrasound uh, as a first-line modality. If it will eventually fail, radiotherapy is always an option. But due to the non-invasive and also non-radiation principle that stands behind this technology, they really prefer to have um, our technology as first modality to be proposed.